Hey guys, um, I'm going to film a changing live video, but before I do that, um, I wanted to share with you Owen. He wanted to show you his puppy dog. He looks so cute, chilling in his bumbo. Um, I love that outfit on him. I love that pacifier. He looks adorable, and I thought you'd like to see him. It's been a while. We haven't filmed a video. <clears throat> in a little while because everybody was sick here and it has been a long couple of days but I think everybody's getting better. I'm just um, putting the camera on live now. Um, yeah, she looks cute. I'm going to change her into a little dress. Um, she's having pacifier issues this morning so um, I don't know what's going on but uh, so that's why this looks a little odd. I don't know if her magnet in her mouth moved or something, but anyways, she's having issues. So I'm going to put her in, uh, this hug me dress and, uh, I have little nylons for her too that are too big, but they'll do. I'm going to just put, oh, hi doggies. I'm going to put, um, the Pampers Almo, uh, diaper on her. Uh, I haven't really used any of my um, Honest diapers. I think that Owen has one on right now, but uh, I just don't want to use them. I'm just flipping this over so I can maybe kind of see to make sure I can sort of see. <laughs> I, ha I have glasses. I'm supposed to wear glasses. I, I'm nearsighted. Um, I think that's the one where you can't see anything that's a too far away. If it's not right in front of my face, I can't really see it all that well. And when my son was two, so this was two years ago, he accidentally broke my glasses. It was a total accident. He didn't do it on purpose. He was jumping up and down. They were on a, a table and they fell and they broke. And I have yet to replace them, so I can't really see. And I just flipped the camera screen around so I could make sure see what you guys were seeing because my dogs ran up here but so we'll change Liv and I'm going to change her diaper um, just because I haven't done that yet <laughs> and oh yeah that's what I was saying about the honest diapers <laughs> there is um, the picnic looking one is on um, Owen um, but I just don't want to use them until I get some more and I want to uh, order some from Bed Bath & Beyond because um, you can do that online if you didn't know that they've got a baby section that's not in all their stores um, but online you can order and they've got the size one and I think they had newborns um, as well but they had, they don't have too many patterns, but they had the skull, and they had the flower burst one, I think. So I'd like to get, um, a package of both of those, just so I have some fun diapers. I do, I do like Pampers because they're so soft, that's what my guys used. And they smell good, they smell like baby powder fresh, and, um, but I just like the honest diapers because they've got cute patterns. <laughs> That's all. I've said that before. We know that. Um, so after I get, I'm just going to put her dress on in her tights. I don't know if I should put this on. Yeah, I guess I should put this on over her tights. Her tights do have that little butt ruffle, but it's not, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. Um, not with the, the dress on. And they're, they are, they're too big, but it's just for... <clears throat> the look. I'll take some pictures for Instagram. Um, I took some cute ones of Owen in his little outfit. So if you want to see um, more of that, check out my Instagram. I do. I like Instagram because uh, I like taking pictures of the babies, and I feel like it's a fun way to check out everybody's babies. I try to follow lots of reborn accounts because it just it's fun. They're fun to look at. Last night, Liv and I snuggled up and watched um, Secrets and Lies. Well, Once Upon a Time first, which is my favorite. I love that show. Um, actually, one of my, my uh, country summer Blythe is Swan. <laughs> or Emma Swan. 
And uh, so we watched that. That was really good. It's getting really good again. And then Secrets and Lies, of course. I thought last night was the last one. I thought we were at 10 episodes already. But next week, we got to wait one more week. I don't know. I think they're trying to set it up. Like, they've obviously got it set up right now to look like, to make you think that Jess had something to do with it. I don't think she did. I really think it was the youngest daughter. Um, but that's just me. And I'm going to feel really bad if it has absolutely nothing to do with her. Because then I'm going to sound like a monster thinking that this little kid <laughs> did it. I know it's a TV show, whatever. Uh, but people still will be like, you crazy woman. But anyways, that's what I think. If anybody else is watching, let me know um, what you think. Um, who do you think did it? Crazy. It's a good show. I'm glad I started watching it. Okay, she, <laughs> Liv, you look adorable. I love you, girl. Um, okay, so she's all dressed, and I promised that I would give you guys a hint at um, who uh, Harper Rose was. It, also, I think I might change her name, but I'm not, I don't know yet. I was at the park the other day um, with my kids and uh, someone said, Lennon, come here. And I was like, oh my God, I love that name. I'm not a big Beatles fan or anything, but I thought I've never heard that. I've never really heard that name before. I thought it was beautiful and I thought that would be a beautiful name for um, a little baby. But she's not really a baby. I said I was going to give you a hint and I know as soon as you... See, these are her, so this is Liv, this is Liv, teeny tiny Liv, this is PJ's for, um, the new baby to come, baby, <laughs> question mark, um, I'm getting a toddler, I'm so excited, uh, these are her PJs, I have ordered her a few things, I'll show you, I just ordered a couple, these are six to nine months, and I hope they fit, um, I'm not really sure what they say she is not a toddler reborn she's actually a masterpiece doll um I've been looking at them for a while this is a little sweater I bought um six to nine months again this is from the children's place I've been looking at them for a while I think they're absolutely beautiful um I've really wanted one and I know Emma's gonna have fun with her these are little pants we got um, she's one of the smaller sizes. She's the smallest size. Oh, well, other than, I have seen babies, um, pictures on Flickr. I haven't actually seen them, like, for sale, so I don't know if they don't, they don't do that anymore. Here's some little shorts. Um, but yeah, she's a masterpiece doll. Google them if you haven't seen them. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. They're ball jointed. She's got ball jointed legs. She's full bodied. Um, so this is cute. Oh my God. I love this. I really hope this fits. Um, it's 69 months. That's what sa they said the clothing size would be. Um, if you were to redress them, I don't know. She just looks a little bigger than that, but we'll see when she comes. Worst case scenario, I take these clothes back and get a bigger size. I probably should have just waited, um, but I'm really, I have, I told my mom last night, she, I said I had the patience of a goldfish. I don't even think that makes sense, but <laughs> it does to me. I have no patience. So, so I got her, that's what I got her, PJs and little outfit. Oh, I also got her some socks too. Um, so she should be here this week. Oh, that's me getting ahead of myself. Um, I looked at her tracking and she did leave um, the the shipping facility um, the sorting place in the states um, which usually means she's on her way like uh, here um, but sometimes I have bad luck with uh, big packages um, and they get stuck at customs I know the very first you guys have never seen the very first reborn I got um, but leave me a, a heads up in the comments if you'd like to see our Yeti baby. <laughs> uh, I can totally do that. It's Emma's baby now and uh, I can show you, I'll do a little video with her if you want. Um, but yeah, it got stuck at customs for 
forever. And I know my, um, well, Tristan's American Boy doll, it was from the States as well. It got stuck at customs forever. And I don't know why certain things do and certain things don't. I thought for sure, um, I, I understand, well, I thought for sure that, um, the Yeti baby was stopped at customs because of the magnetic pacifier, but it didn't look like it had been opened at all. Um, so I don't know if it did go for extra testing. I don't know. Anyways, so, um, that's what's coming, uh toddler baby. I'm going to treat her reborn like. Um, I know she's masterpiece, but she's gorgeous. She's, well, I'm not going to give any, anything else away. Um, you can Google them. They're beautiful dolls. She is the 29 inch, I think, 28 or 29 inches. Um, and so hopefully she'll be here this week or next week and we'll do a video, um, with her and, yeah, I hope you guys liked seeing Liv get changed. She's beautiful. I'll take some pictures of her and her, um, oh, she's just so cute. Um, take some pictures of her and her dress and upload them to Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully with a box opening of a Masterpiece doll. See you later. Bye.